Good evening guys, my name is Tommy and welcome to another reaction here with Northern Ear. Tonight we are listening to this week's Discord vote winner and it is Coheed and Cambria and their song Welcome Home. Now, I have never even heard of Coheed and Cambria. Uh, the first time I saw the name was when it popped up in the Discord in the Suggestions channel and, um, you know, I don't know what it is i don't know who who they are who he she is uh, i don't even know what kind of music i'm about to listen to uh, the only thing that i can assume is that it's not metal otherwise it would have been suggested with all the other metal songs um the only thing that i do know is that it absolutely walked this week's discord vote um i think it won by about nine or ten votes or something like that so i don't really know what else to say other than I'm just going to jump straight in. I'll see you in four and a half minutes. Let's go. Nice. Okay. 
Yes, okay. What a song that was. That was great. You know, I, I was trying to take in everything that was happening. You know, you've got that great drum beat, the great bass, uh, the fantastic tense chord progression that um, it reminded me of something, actually. Let me see if I can pick it out. Turn that on. So where was it? Ba ba -da -da ba -da -da. That's too high. Oh, there. So it's like ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da. there. So it's just a semitone. Then where did it go after that? Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. So it's the B, C, and D. So does that mean then that it was just on the E minor scale? So just fifth, sixth, and seventh interval of E minor. Yeah. So that might explain then why the bass sounded like it wasn't really moving very much. I wonder if the bass was playing around E minor and the chord was playing that uh, B note chord. Uh, sorry, the guitar was playing that B chord. It, it reminds me of another song and I can't think of what the song is, uh, but it's that kind of semitone increase that creates that tension but it kind of moved around the bass. The bass didn't seem to move very much. The, the guitar riff kind of moved around the bass, which I thought was really good because I love it when two instruments start to drift away from each other, but yet sound like they still fit. Um, so yeah, that was, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the different change ups as well. When we got to the chorus, um, lyric wise, Sounded like he's just talking to an ex and saying, you mess things up. I can't trust you. I think he says at one point, get in the ground. So like he, he clearly hates this girl or maybe not hates. Hates is a strong word, but he's got strong feet. Well, to be fair, hates. He just told her to get in the ground. So he must hate her. Um, but it's yeah, it sounds like he's basically saying, you know, if you really wanted to be with me, you would have you would have ignored. I think he said you would have ignored my world. So I don't know whether that means you would have just like turned a blind eye to the things that mean the most to me and lived with them or accepted them, embraced them even. Maybe not turned a blind eye. That was a bad term. But yeah, embraced them. Um, and it sounds like she cheated on him because he, he said in the very first lines, you, 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 uh, you broke my trust or something like that. Um, you were dishonest, something like that. Um, then the second half of the song, I'm not too sure. He starts talking about Jesus drilling through his hands. So I don't know whether he's just depicting the pain that he was going through, the suffering that he went through in this relationship. Um, but yeah, the sound of that. He's got a really interesting, unique sounding voice as well that caught my attention. There was a lot, like I said, there was lots and lots of things going on in that song. And yes, piqued my attention, definitely. You know, I've said quite a lot of times, there's three things that catch my attention musically. Interesting musical structure. Um, so do they use interesting chord structures, transitions, contrast between light and heavy, interesting uh, time signatures, things like that. Um, great lyrics and a great voice. Now, not necessarily had a great voice, but he had a very unique voice, which fits the criteria. Um, really interesting musically. And then lyric wise, yeah, they are enigmatic enough for me to want to know a little bit more. So I'm going to say that he's ticked two and a half of my three criteria, at least there. Um, really good song, actually. Very, very, very good song.
you guys are killing it lately with these suggestions so keep them coming keep them coming um basically what i do is all your suggestions that come into the youtube channel i put down on a big long list i've probably got about 60 or 70 songs on a list and then twice a week i take some songs from that list and from other discord suggestions and put them into a vote and the patreons in discord will then vote on which songs they want me to do and each week we get two winners during the week and two winners at week end and uh, they're the songs that i listen to um so yeah you guys are killing it and if you want to be part of that then you can either join the patreon to get the voting power or if you just want to be a part of the discord and get involved in the chat you can just join straight in the discord doesn't cost you anything you might as well come and say hello um i'll stick a link to both in the description section but yeah great song love that coheed and cambria welcome home um thanks very much for suggesting it thanks very much for spending some time with me this evening i hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did take a look around the channel there are tons of songs that i've already done and if you like what you see then consider subscribing guys i would really appreciate that and until tomorrow have a good night guys stay safe and i'll see you soon good night